Hi, it's me. I'm back. I wanted to talk to you about the full moon tonight. Um, it is the strawberry full moon of June. And trust me, the energy is intense. It is the last full moon in spring before the summer solstice. And it is a time for extreme change. There is so much energy. And with the 666 portal that opened and everything that's going on this month, the acceleration, that chariot card I've been, I've been pulling in my readings, it's so true. I mean, everything is just accelerated on the fast pace at the moment. So if your emotions are running high, roll with it. If you are, that emotional storm I was talking about, if you are feeling things really intensely, it's okay. It's normal. Just look inside and count to 10 before you speak because there's a lot of things and a lot of emotions coming in and you might be triggered somehow. And I'm just letting you know it's okay. It's the universe telling you these are the things you need to work on when you get triggered. And those emotions that come in that run high, it's okay. Bring them in. Just let them go. You're not going crazy. Let the negative run through. I promise you. Just let it run through. When you get triggered, count to 10. Bring it in. And don't respond with anger, all right? Our emotions are just running high from the full moon tonight. That strawberry full moon. It's all okay. You know, if you want to look at it another way, just stick your tongue out at the world right now. It'll be okay. All right? I'm not literally. Don't do that to your friend. But I'm just saying if you're home, just whatever, right? Because energies are running high and it's okay. And then I'm telling you, bring all that negative in. Yeah, I've got some notes here. I want you to bring all that negative energy in for the divine to transform it. Because when you bring in that negative, when you're triggered by somebody else's, you know, verbiage to you, it's time to look inside and see what it's triggering, right? And take note of everything that's being triggered right now, everything. And then tonight, during the full moon, take all that negative in, let the negative in, and let's transform it into light tonight. Tonight's the full moon. Tonight is the time of change. It is that last full moon before summer. And I'm telling you, things are taking off. They really are. It is time to change. The universe is looking down with this moon and saying, it's time. Let go of your old ways of thinking. Let go of your old patterns. It's time to move forward. When you feel triggered, when that, when that negativity enters, and it's bound to you because we all have shit we have to work on. But when it comes in, don't run from it. Don't run from it. Don't react. Just let it come in and sit with it and see where it's coming from. If you don't know where it's coming from, ask your guides and angels to show you where it's coming from and then be open to the answers. No matter what the answers are, no matter how hard they are for you to feel and hear, let them in. It's the only way to transform that darkness into light. And then after tonight with the full moon and you let it all go all of it you take all that negative right you've grounded yourself with the earth with the spirit you've got the full moon going you're bringing it in you're you're telling the universe all the negative that you're not understanding all these bad feelings that you're not understanding you're going to give it out to the universe for understanding you're going to say i don't understand please help me understand and if you have to light a candle to help you focus, light some incense to focus, write it down if you have to, to focus. But I want you to bring all that negativity in tonight. And I want you to sit with it. And I want you to see what the universe has to tell you. Because I'm telling you, when you take all that negative, all those triggers that have happened this week or today, and you bring them in and you sit with your divine self, with that divine light, and you look at why you're triggered, you're going to find there's things to change. And then tomorrow, when you wake up, it's time to realign yourself with the divine. You, you brought in, you let all the negativity in, you use the full moon's energy, you, you saw what it is, you saw the triggers, you saw what you need to change, and now it's time to change it. And that's where the fun begins because we never know what we're gonna have to change. It could be shadow work. It could be that we need to change something deep within ourselves, which is generally true, but it could also just be your surroundings. 
all the negativity that's coming at you could be from your place of employment it could be from your home surroundings it can be external outside your home something that's going on outside your home hell it could be your wardrobe that's bringing you down believe it or not i mean i know one thing i'm starting today for my transformation right i'm bringing it in tonight and giving the universe all my feelings about my health my how i perceive myself my weight my lack of muscle all of it and i'm giving it to the universe and i'm coming up with a plan and i'm gonna work it because that's the change i want now Maybe that won't be the change that takes place that I need that I'm referring to that shadow work, but it is a change that I'm going to work on and I'm starting on it now. I'll keep you updated with that. But to align yourself tomorrow back with your true soul's purpose, your true heart, to align yourself with the divine and your angels and spirits, sometimes we have to get rid of things. Whether like I said, it's a person in our life or a wardrobe or a feeling or a way you think of things or, you know, a person that you think is just so great, but they're really not. I mean, it's just so many things you need to take it, bring it in, look at it, talk to the spirit. And then tomorrow, start making those changes. Realign yourself with the divine. Recenter yourself and then ask for guidance every day from your higher self, from that divine spirit, that, that wonderful, wonderful love that we all know is real, the divine that's in the universe. And as you do, you're gonna find that your vibration, that frequency that you admit, that vibration that you admit from here, from this heart center, from your solar plexus region, it'll be much higher of vibration because you'll be feeling so much more love and you'll emit that love. And, I, and to tell you the truth, I truly do believe love to be the highest vibration of all. I know there are those who say that the magician is above that, but love is pretty powerful and you can change a lot of things with it. When you look at a situation and you put love into it, oh my God, the possibilities are endless. They truly are. You know, whether it's to get rid of something or bring something in, when you look at it with love, true love, not your love, true love unconditional when you look at a situation with unconditional love you start to see it for what it truly is and i urge you i urge you tonight please sit with your heart sit with your spirit sit with your mind call the divine down and just seek it seek that solace the heavens and the earth beside you within you just look at it the energy is so right to change, to excel us towards our goals, to our next level of existence, so to speak. Maybe from this 3D so much to a 5D, to an astral realm, to a, to a higher level of awareness when you just see there is true beauty everywhere. Just everywhere. That's what this moon is all about. Transformation, realignment getting rid of the old, bringing in the new, getting rid of all that stuff that we don't need anymore, all those feelings, all those emotions, all of it, preconceived ideas, let all go. Let it all go. It's time for new information to come in. It's time for a new beginning. And the only way to have room for the new is to get rid of the old and then say, okay, here I am. Let that new come in. And that's what this moon is all about. So please use the energy of the full moon. Continue on your journey towards awakening. Continue on your path of enlightenment, enlightenment and take this opportunity with this full moon to let go of the old you and say hello to the new. All right, love and light. I wish you the best always.